when dancers advance to new levels, they'll tell me that they miss the funny games that we would play in class. So this is actually a very fun time to be able to share some of those games with you. Um, so when we go across the floor, of course we're working on helping each student be able to balance with one foot or two feet, jump off of one foot, land on two, jump off of two, land on one. And all of these things lead them up to being able to pick up choreography very quickly. Um, so today I'll show you a couple of the things that we enjoy doing together in class. The first one is robots. So when we go across the floor, maybe 10 or 20 years ago, we actually would do more stiff robotic moves just to get nice and staccato movements as we go. Sometimes lifting the knee and other times just simply moving back and forth, kind of the trademark robot. But now students actually will go to more of a smooth robotic move because they've seen different kinds of androids. So a lot of times it's also trying to get way up on the tiptoes while they're doing these smooth moves and trying to pick up their scarves without dropping them or trying to get past each other without knocking each other over. Then we also have penguins. Penguins, of course, are where you're trying to teach that turnout. Get the heels forward, nice and strong, straight legs. Straight legs are very hard for beginners. They will not be able to keep their balance as well. So teaching them how to step forward, and especially as they get even older, in first position or fourth, first, fourth position for balancing as penguins. And we also have flamingos. The flamingos have their elbows out to the side and they're gonna be lifting the foot up nice and high, extending the leg with a balance, then stepping toe ball heel. So lift up, toe ball heel. Lift up, toe ball heel. Lift up, toe ball heel, and eventually step kick all the way across the room. Very good. On the floor, sometimes we're working to help each student coordinate, and other times we're working to build some kind of strength in them. So I'm not sure if I can do it on the carpet, but when we do our worm movements, that is definitely all about ab work, because we want them to be able to slide out but then as they come in, they have to use their abdomen to be able to bring their legs in and slide out and in. And we'll also do it backwards where they slide their legs back and then come up on it. So both exercises are working the core strength. Hi dancers, welcome to class from Wing Center for the Arts. I miss Kimberly, I miss all of you and I'm happy to see you. Today I thought we would go over the yoga moves from last week and add three more as well. So with your um, memory, you might remember last week we did the flamingo. So that was where we were on one foot and reaching out nice and far with our arms. So you wanna find one thing to look at and hold your leg up nice and high, stretch your fingers out far away from you. Very good. And then the next one that we did was a giraffe. We had one toe pointed one direction, the other toe pointed the other direction, and then we reach out nice and far, tip forward, and balance. You can look up to the sky as well for a balancing challenge. Great. And then to come out of that, we went right into the tiger. And the tiger was fun because we were down on our hands and knees, and then our back was lifted high, head was lifted high, and we took one foot up to the sky. And we talked about tiggers as well, and I asked you if you would please go all around your house as a tigger. Well, today we're gonna add on by doing the fox. Now the fox is very similar to the tiger. We're gonna be on our hands and knees, but instead of taking our foot up, we're going to take it out. And we're also going to use the opposite arm up in the sky. So hold it nice and tall. You can make your head go neutral as well. 
And you can use the other foot, nice and high. Continue to breathe deeply. Very good. And then we're going to add in today a camel pose. So you can bring your toes together behind you and reach back all the way to your ankles and look up to the sky, lifting your belly button. Good job. After that one, today we're going to be doing the eagle. So you want to take your feet and crisscross and even tuck your foot way behind you and then crisscross also your arms. Balancing nice and high. And then you can switch and do it with the other leg as well. Good job. Now I challenge you to show your parents these and ask them to help you as well. Be sure to keep in touch with us. If you would, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear which things you enjoy and what you'd like to see more of. Bye-bye.